Hey good people, it is Tashara from Politics and Fashion here today with a video that is all about my spring wardrobe inspiration. Specifically, I'm going to share with you all today some outfit formulas that are going to be super easy for you guys to replicate that I cannot wait to wear soon. If that sounds good to you, just keep watching. I'm so excited y'all because this video comes right at the time as spring is approaching, specifically in DC. It is going to be 68 degrees in just a couple days. That basically sounds like 70. 70 might as well be 75. And at 75, we're gonna round up to 80, okay? So it just feels like the perfect time to be thinking about our spring wardrobe. And I'm so excited that today's video is in partnership with my friends over at Nordstrom. I have been shopping at Nordstrom since forever ever all right you all already know that i am a fan of nordstrom over here on this part of the internet and what i love about them is the brand variety i mean you can find everything from luxury to affordable brands to candles to home decor it really is a one-stop shop for me and in today's video i am focusing on adding some pieces to my wardrobe that are going to be perfect for spring so let's spotlight those pieces first and then we'll get into the styling first up is this dress that i'm wearing today i know you already noticed the clavicle moment yeah She's in there. Um, let me tell y'all something. So we talk about the clavicle a lot over here. We do. And I just feel like accentuate it. Let it just really be at its peak this spring. Um, and as a result, I think this kind of one shoulder situation in the form of a maxi dress, a little bit shorter than a maxi on me, y'all, but that's because I'm almost six feet tall. <laughs> but it probably will be a maxi on most people is to die for. When I saw this on the website, I knew I had to have it. And the best part about it, y'all, is that I had no idea that Nordstrom sold Mango. I did not know. And Mango is one of my favorite contemporary brands. I ordered this in a size medium. The stretch is perfect. These days, I get a little nervous because I want to make sure that it fits the curves because the curves are indeed curving, okay? So I get a little nervous ordering a medium because I think to myself, I know I'm a medium up top, but who knows what it's going to give on the bottom. And this is perfect for all of my curvy girlies. The, the, the slim thick among us. Let's stick with sweater dresses. Again, love them this time of year. Another maxi sweater dress, but this time it's going to be a little off shoulder situation, okay? Again, the clavicle shall be accentuated. And this one is by a brand called Open Edit, y'all. I've had their pieces before and I can definitely speak to the quality. I also have a sweater from them that I picked up before. And so I think if we are looking for great price points and good quality, Nordstrom and these brands that I'm going to share with you today, they don't miss. They do not miss. This sweater feels so good on. And I love the fact that it has these vertical stripes and so it elongates me. Not that I need that. <laughs> Slims me, snatches the waist a little bit as well. It hits at a great length and we still have that slit. I definitely see myself wearing this with browns, with blacks, with oh, a pair of white boots. I'm not going to style it with that in this video, but I love the contrast of what a white boot probably would do with this. It also comes in black. Y'all be proud of me that I got it in green instead of black. Now let's go to another piece that I got from Nordstrom. I shared with you all in my winter face video how much I am becoming a baseball cap girly. I don't know what happened. I just decided that I wanted to give my style a little bit of edge, not just to wear them casually, but to also dress them up, which you will see very soon. And I told you all in my winter face video that I was waiting on a leopard one to come in and it is from Nordstrom. It is this one by Ganny. What I love about it y'all is that for me, leopard is a neutral as someone who style pillar is elevated simplicity that is a concept in my ebook how to declutter your wardrobe and curate a style you love we tend to like things that tend to be a little bit more minimal and maybe simplistic but we love edge we love flair and leopard will do that for us and i think leopard in a baseball cap is so unexpected and i cannot wait to style this up for y'all now if you were not new around these parts then you know last fall my word of the season was comfort it is what truly kind of cascaded me into the end of the year. I've been styling sneakers a lot more for you all. And so I could not pass up these Nike waffle sneakers. These are a pair of sneakers, y'all, that I've had my eye on for the longest time. And I feel like I've had something similar in the past, but never quite just got it right. And these are what I needed. I love the fact that they are suede. They're in this light color. 
sneakers with dresses. You can't, you can't go wrong in my opinion. The orange, okay, and the Nike check. Also, I really love this little kind of pull tab in the back and the fact that it almost has, I don't want to say a platform sole, but the sole seems to be a little bit thicker and it has a retro vibe in my opinion as well. It is a slim sneaker. It is the perfect kind of sneaker again to wear with dresses, to wear with jeans. They are so comfortable. They feel like you are walking on clouds. And then I have this Free People denim jacket. It is an oversized denim jacket that's considered to be a trucker jacket. Uh, I love the fact that it has these oversized sleeves that almost balloon out. I got this in a large, y'all, because I was afraid that it, the sleeves were not going to be long enough, but they are actually so long until I had to roll them up. So as far as the sizing is concerned, I could have definitely gone down to a medium, but I really like the oversized fit. It also has some like vintage distressing on it that makes it, I think, look really cool. I cannot wait to wear this as a lighter jacket this spring. The first outfit formula is going to be the Canadian suit. Give us the Canadian suit this spring. Good friend, you can never go wrong with denim on denim. I just think it's always something that is classic. If worn right, if accessorized right as well, it feels very contemporary and even on trend. Even if you're like me and you're not someone who leans into trends very often, it's a way to wear denim on denim that gives that illusion. I don't think that it has to be the exact shade of denim either. I think as long as you're within the color family, as long as y'all have houses on the same street, I think we are Gucci. And that is definitely true for the oversized denim that I am wearing from Free People once again, as well as the Margiela slit jeans. These are available at Nordstrom. I decided to pair these jeans with the top because I felt like the shape of the jeans was really good. I didn't want to go too relaxed, but I did want to have kind of a bit of an oversized feel and also because the jacket is oversized and you can't see the shirt that I'm wearing underneath it that little peak of skin with the slits I think works well I decided because we are wearing denim on denim that we we're going to edge this up with a pair of western boots these are by Dolce Vita coincidentally also at Nordstrom and with these boots what I really like about them is a the silver toe tap plus y'all Western core isn't going anywhere anytime soon I mean Beyonce does have the number one country song right now with a full country album that is soon to come. We know that uh, Western wear was a major theme of Pharrell's first show at Louis Vuitton. And uh, uh, overall, I just love me a good old cowboy boo. I, I don't even know what else to say, but maybe it's because I'm from the South, but it is something that in my closet, I have three pair, um, maybe four. It is not going anywhere anytime soon for me. And I think a white boot just in general to split up a monochromatic moment is a lot of fun. And so give us the heat, sis. We want to see a little denim on denim this spring and in the form of a denim jacket because it is still cool outside is even better. Speaking of lighter jackets, let's go to my next outfit formula, which is a blazer and a tee. Now, as someone who works from home as a solopreneur, I have been finding lately that I really appreciate getting out of the house. And there is something about a blazer with a graphic tee, a pair of jeans, and a sneaker that makes me feel so put together. It's really the blazer, probably, to be honest with you, um, and the sneaker for comfort. But the reality is, you know, with my tote bag kind of over my shoulder and maybe even a baseball cap and kind of mobbing through the city downtown D.C. and like pressing the button to get up the private elevator to the co-working space, I just feel so special. It's a little thing. It buzzed up to the desk. I mean, it's an open room, but still, I feel like it's all just for me, honestly, and I just feel like the baddest CEO out there. I know there are so many people who are part of our tribe who work from home. Let us know, do you ever go to co-working spaces? Not every co-working space is the same. I have definitely learned that, but there are a few around DC that I am loving, and this outfit formula is always what I go to. 
I put a whole look like this together over on my IG, so make sure you are following me all over the internet at Politics and Fashion. Now, let's get into this look specifically. I really like this light blazer. It is oversized, as you can see. The light tan is great because I am someone who tends to go so much towards black, and I decided because the blazer is light to mix it with a cream graphic tee. Throw that on with a pair of relaxed denim, and of course, we're gonna pull out the Nike Waffle sneakers, okay? I feel like the cream of the sneakers with the orange check goes so great with the graphic tee as well as the blazer. Again, grab an oversized bag and I'm out the door. Also wanna throw on a baseball cap that's in that same color family as well. This is so perfect on those days when I might need a haircut. Or again, to just edge the whole thing up. Um, I am an attorney by training, y'all. I went to Georgetown and I've had a long career in public policy. But I've always been very irreverent in my style. So there's something about me kind of mobbing through downtown D.C. once again with this outfit on going to handle big business. That just makes me feel so good. Like I'm doing things my way, as Usher once said. My way. What I say goes. Uh, that's what this entire outfit gives me. Let's hop over to the sweater dress. It is still sweater weather. Um, and again, I told you all how much I loved it in the form of a maxi dress. And I am going to style two looks in this outfit formula category. First up is going to be the dress that I am wearing today. I'm going to throw back on those white boots by Dolce Vita. Again, it's all about the contrast for me. With this color, I could have easily worn brown, chocolate brown or lighter brown. I could have, of course, worn black although I think that would be a little bit too harsh for me. But I decided to go the other way and provide a nice pop with the white boot. Now, I probably wouldn't go for ankle boots. I do like the idea of wearing a knee boot, especially because the dress does have the slit. So that's, again, why, the, why these Dolce Vita Western boots work so well. Um, I want to make this outfit a bit more relaxed. So we're going to put on the Free People oversized denim jacket once again. All of these pieces can be repurposed and mixed and matched, by the way. That is something that's very important for me as someone who is a big, big, big proponent of the capsule wardrobe. You don't want to hear me say it. I know. I'm not going to say it. That's the only time I'm going to use that phrase this video. But you already know what it is about Okay. I'm not going to say it again, I promise. Um, so the interchangeability for me is key with all of these new pieces, of course. So throw on that oversized denim jacket. And then I am also going to put on the Ganny Leopard hat. And there's something about, I think, the white um, and the leopard that pairs well with the white of the boots. Everything just came together so effortlessly. And there's one thing about this dress, y'all, that it is so, so comfortable. I'm about to get outside today, and what I'm actually going to do is wear this dress with the sneakers that have been featured in this video. It's just chef's kiss. Now again, sticking with another sweater dress, we're going to pull out the one by Open Edit. Y'all, if you wanted, if you really, um, I don't know why that just popped into my, really want it, girl, what happened to cut clothes? What happened? I don't know. They're probably on the stage somewhere with Monifu. With Mocha and Steph. Oh, Jesus. they somewhere down there with Brownstone. Staying in this category of the sweater dress, let's pop over to the green dress by Open Edit. And I decided to wear this dress with another pair of boots. These are like a tobacco brown. And I just think it just eats up this color real bad. Real bad. Uh, I'm going to throw on a pair of retro sunnies. Y'all haven't seen these yet in this video, but you knew they were coming because they are my absolute faves, especially with that light lens. And then I want to do something so nasty, so rude, and that is to pull out this little micro bag. It's nonsensical, I know. Um, but why not? We're going to check this. Pull out that little micro bag that holds nothing but our patience. And we're sticking with kind of like this jewel tone theme, as you can see, the deep green, the deep brown. Now we have this nice, delicious burgundy. But hold up, because I got something that's going to pull all of it together, and it's this checkered blazer. And let's just drape that delicately across our shoulders. Where are we going? It doesn't matter. This is one of my favorite looks in this entire video. You know that I love a sexy high school principal steeze, 
okay? This is Mrs. Halyard after dark. It is Principal Halyard, Administrator Halyard after dark, uh, present and accounted for. Yeah, I like this. We can go get a cocktail. We can. I like this a whole lot. And the blazer's gonna give you a little bit of warmth on those cooler evenings. The boots and the heel are so, so comfortable. It's not a stiletto. We're not doing too much. And again, I think the dress is just hitting the curves in all the right ways. And my last outfit formula for spring is going to be a maxi skirt. A maxi skirt. Now, I know a lot of us may have some generational trauma and may be eligible for compensation around the maxi denim skirt trend around about the late 90s, especially if you grew up in a conservative household and culture like mine. And so, you know, when you were going to certain functions, you had to have on that skirt that was gonna be below the knee. And I think there there is some trauma that may be associated to this trend circling the block. I completely understand. So we're not gonna go with a denim maxi. We're gonna go with a faux leather maxi. Now, this is why making content like this and like digging into to my wardrobe of what I already have is so so important y'all because I grabbed this maxi skirt last fall maybe late fall I think it was around Black Friday and ashamedly I have not worn it nearly enough and the second that I styled it in this video it's like a light bulb went off in my head and so I'm gonna pair it as you can see here with a white button down a classic button down we all have one of these I want to put on a pair of croc embossed boots these are by shoots also available at Nordstrom it is the Mariana boot I think is the name this is a classic for shoots I don't do a lot of boots with a high heel I just find that out of all the heels that are in my wardrobe typically a heeled boot is the one that just gives me the blues girl that's the one that doesn't care if I live or die um but these are super super comfortable love them and I think that because I am wearing a black and white outfit whenever we we can bring in more textures let's do it okay so the croc embossing i think works really well here with the smoothness of the faux leather skirt and because we're irreverent let's go ahead and pull back out that ganny baseball cap do a cute little bag with this and what if we did a, a just a, a pop like a, a just a banging red lip It is really going to be um, a question of confidence and self-esteem, not by you, but by others. Because when you step out this spring with some of these outfit formulas, girl, please, they're going to be shook, okay? And tell all of them right now, step your weight up. Because when I jump out here, this spring is going to be a problem. And that is it, good people. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Many thanks to my friends over at Nordstrom for sponsoring today's video. Everything will be linked down below and I will see you good people across the internet. Peace.